at Wind Cave today, taking the lookout point Beaver Creek Loop. I haven't taken the trail this way in a very long time, probably about, oh, I'd say at least 14 years. We've usually done the other way. The new and older trail marker. The new one, a sturdy post in front, and the old one behind. The only problem with the old one, bison used to come along to rub against it, and what do you think happened? Yeah, they'd knock it down. I don't know why they put that there to begin with. I think because it was flexible and because of the wind we have here in South Dakota, but it just didn't work when the bison would come along. Just a little bitty stream. Yeah. Oh, this is the stream where we saw the head of a bison yeah, yeah. in it. I think so. I remember that a long, long time ago. Yeah, it was.
Here is the last signpost we saw. Should have gone right, but the trail was overgrown and we didn't notice it. We knew somewhere along this trail we needed to climb up and go through a large prairie dog town, but the trail we were on seemed very obvious, so onward we hiked. This year, because of the drought, there have been more prairie rattlers out and about. So I kept knocking on rocks with my hiking pole and whistling to let them know we were coming. And no, I'm not whistling for the bears. I'm whistling to let rattlesnakes know we're coming. Fun, ain't it? The prairie rattlesnake is the only venomous snake native to South Dakota. Many South Dakotans admit they have never seen a rattler in the wild even those who live in rattlesnake territory. Snakes have a great display of camouflage and are timid and secretive. When approached, they usually remain quiet to avoid detection. If you leave them alone, they will do the same to you. Snakes do not have external ears and are essentially deaf. However, they are very sensitive, sensitive to vibrations. They may not hear you coming, but will feel your footsteps as you get closer to them. Thus, my whistling is useless. Oh well, had to make sure I could still do it in my older age. Yep, this part of the trail does not look familiar at all.
didn't go much further on this trail as we came to another creek crossing. Bill with his equilibrium problems makes creek crossings without a bridge much harder. The trail was nice though, but for that. So we'll stick to the Beaver Creek portion of the trail in the future. bummer. Got to cross the creek again and no bridge like they have later on. <laughs> 